Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of To The Moon. Last time we left off, we realized or found the source of uh, River's trauma with rabbits. So I guess we are going to go ahead and get out of the road so we do not get run over. And we'll see what else we got here. Oh my god! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're fine. We're fine. I That actually kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> I was actually scared I was going to die. I didn't think a car was actually going to come. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse. What are you, five years old? Okay, I will- I won't not ride it. Yeah. Not wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! That can't be good. Uh, do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Receive note, Dr. Neil Watts. We can make a lot of notes about Neil. Village idiot. This is true. Alright, so am I just leaving Neil to die? And I'm just gonna just gonna go do what I want? Maybe. Possibly. Okay, you you went off down there. Alright, uh uh no uh is that you? No, that's River. Okay. Hello. How we doing everyone? Anything interesting? Here? There we go. Is that really a good idea? Should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Heck! River. Whoa. Horsey is like you cannot control me. Aha! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! A big horsey. Huh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Yeah, but... Why are you riding backwards? This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Yeah, but he's our moron. Better go save his bum. I really love this this song here. Oh wow, we gotta move with the arrow keys now, huh? That's interesting. Hold space to gallop. Really? Okay. Not what I expected. Cool. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm chasing you. I'm gonna win, River. You can't beat me. Uh-uh. There was Neil. I'm back here. Hey. Hey, we gotta take a shortcut. We gotta pull some Mar- We gotta pull some Mario Kart stuff. Boom. Boom. Now I'm winning. Uh-huh. Just wait until I power drift with this horse. So where all am I supposed to go to get my memories? There's Neil. Yeah, I really, really like this version of uh, the song here. Very, very cute. So, yeah, where am I supposed to go now? I, like, I beat River. Don't think I'm supposed to go down here. I don't think I have all of my memory shards yet. Or am I just actually supposed to save Neil? I kind of saw him and thought I wasn't going to be able to. Because he's... I don't know, like, what do I... Whoop, what do I actually do to him? Do I have to catch him and, like, interact with him? There you are. Hey! Hey, come back here. You. Hey. There we go. Yeah, that's what I gotta... Thanks! Ow. Hey, I found something here. Whoa, my horse is glitchy. Okay. Where? Oh, you, you landed over here. Ah, this is the memento? Aha! Oh, we only got one memory. Oh, wait, no, we have multiple memories, but... So wait, I need more? Here, this memento will do. You'll have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me. I'm not getting on that beast again. So wait, I need more. I still need- I still need two more. There we go. Oh, that's what was happening. Oh my god, is that really what's going on there? 
Yeah, Johnny and River are glitched into each other. I had to catch both of them, but they're glitched into each other because I was looking for Johnny. I was like, where's Johnny at? But Johnny's under River. <laughs> no, stop that. <laughs> it's weird. Because, yeah, I got two uh, memories when I interacted with them. Interesting. All right, well, let's get out of here. Bye-bye, horsey. Twas fun. Uh, four is the ideal, huh? Okay, yeah, we're back to mouse. So, should be this. This. The, I don't think this was the ideal. I, oh, yeah. This wasn't the ideal at all. Uh, but we did it, I guess. There we go. Is that a little purse? Or is that a little, like, a little pouch, like a sachet? I think it's a purse. Alrighty. Hit me with a purse. Uh-huh. Like, even younger now? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive development, developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the, rela in the relationship? No? And you, sir? N no, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why, John? <laughs> oh no. John, please, you gotta understand, especially if you're, you know, going to try and make things work. You can't just ignore it. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know why John is so adamant about not just learning about his significant other. Stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. I don't know, platypus are pretty cool. What's the memento? This? So it says, like, walk- oh! The clock is the memento, that's why it said walk up there. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Yep, sounds and stuff like that. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Clock ticking. Notes. Clock in Johnny's house never tick, yeah. I mean, sounds like that can be an overstimulation for a lot of people and can kind of just set them off or annoy them. It's, it's like, you know, everybody's annoyed it's always shown in cartoons and stuff, at least I recall when I was little. People getting annoyed by, like, dripping water. It's like that kind of thing. Some sounds just set people off. Uh, yes. Plain Tawny Handbag. Receive note, Tony Atwood. Uh-huh, is that it? In here? Do believe so. Let's look at the note on Tony. The author of a series of books on River's condition. Mm-hmm. So, I need one more thing. 
What, we, what else do we got? It says I can... Well, maybe I need to talk to you two. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Alright, we are ready to go. Let's get up here. So yeah, you went to the doctor, but... You, you don't even want to learn about the condition, John. Please. Both of you need to work with this. You gotta... You gotta help to understand her. You need to help to understand each other. Um... So, I could do the diagonal here. Um, if I do this, that'll give me the diagonal. Ah, uh, but then, yeah, I have basically a three-way thing here. So if I do that, oh, and then do that, and then do this. Yeah, okay, there we go. Activate. Ooh, we're kids! Movie theater? Yep. Wow, you don't remember a lot from this. Oh yeah, cause the- Cause y your memory is getting worse as we go further back, so you don't remember as much. S look. I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. We're back to kid. Alright. You're not, like, child, but you are, like, young, like, teenager, probably. Oh, he overcooked macaroni! The kid's in the theater all by himself! What a loser! Oh, please. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? God, what? I bet you're amazing at parties. Where are you going, Johnny? Apparently he didn't last through this rubbish. Whatever this rubbish is. And thus, movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Alright. Alright, let's go. Hey, kid. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Oh, God, Watts. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, alrighty, what's up? Bye? Okay, they just disappeared. Oh, I can just make people disappear. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. Okay, weird. What is this? Wait, was that like a... Oh, that was just the person turned on the side. It looked like a ghost to me for a second. These, like, red bits here from the tile look like eyes. Odd. Okay, so can I can I talk to the person at the counter now? Nope. Go away. Ah, here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Kodak moment, God. Haven't heard that in a hot minute. You know that poking them all out of the way like that does nothing, right? And why complain? Yeah. Neil. Okay. Well, there's nothing here. I hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. All right, hit me with your best shot, Neil. Uh. Okay, yeah, the camera's kind of advancing here. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? 
We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Oh. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. Yeah, not everybody picks up on, like, social cues and societal norms as easy as everyone else. It's very much a learned behavior, kind of like what Isabel was talking about. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You shouldn't. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Come on, Neil. You dummy. Alright, so... Where's my memento? Is it popcorn? Nope, it's the platypus. River really does love this platypus. Alrighty. Bonk. Boom. Kablooey. Bang. Bim. There we go. Prepare! Alrighty, so... Platypus. What am I going to do with you? Uh, so... Hmm. The ideal is five. Um, I mean... Huh. My cat is making a bunch of noise in there, and I don't know why. You good in there, buddy? So... <clears throat> if I do this... Then... This... That... That, that did not help me. No, that, that was a... that was a bad... No, let's 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 do that and then this and then this and then this and then we can do this. Oh no, I screwed it up. I, no, wait, no, I didn't screw it up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Boom. Took me more tries, but uh it's fine. It's fine. We're out of here. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Yeah, I mean it has been our memento quite a few times now. Wow, you're friends with Nicholas all the way back here, huh? I think you mentioned that at one point. Come on, dude. Grow some balls. Um... It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. Yeah, that's always easy to say in the moment, but then, but then your brain is like, uh-uh, no, 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 reject, stop, stop, quit, quit, no. Plus, you just don't want to annoy people. That was always my thing. Like, I don't want to annoy this person. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and everyone will think you're cool. Well, what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. Or, or says yes, but really means no? Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws the encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. God, Neil, you really fit in in this elementary school, don't you? Probably not an elementary school. Elementary school's the next one. They're, they're like teenagers. They're like high school. Everything will be alright, just turn around. Okay, okay. Uh, hey, what are you? Shh. Uh, uh -huh. Hello. Uh, hello? Can, can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you, uh, never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypus? No. Oh, I, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> like you would do any better, Neil. Hey, you wanna- Lighthouses. Huh? 
There are exactly 16 second order Fresnel Lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, uh, how about the Saturday at 8? Well? Eva, I think the system froze. Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess I'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Alrighty. Well, we gotta find some things. Hello, River. Yeah, the big issue here is they just- they just don't understand how the other works. Hello. The heck are you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic! If I were you, I would've just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you! Go out! Me, you, now! That's just terrible. Also, that wouldn't have gotten you anywhere. I know, and it would've still been better than what you just did. Wow, Nicholas is a shit. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh, did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved. Okay, so yeah, I'm just saying the same things. Alright, uh... Painting? Dear lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun! Only if you can paint. Yeah, your, your yours looks like what I would do. It'll get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right. After this class, I'll never picking up a brush again. I think I saw an easel and stuff in your house, so I don't think you stopped. Cool. My cat's messing with the cabinet. Hey, you doofus! Can you stop that? He's in the kitchen trying to open a cabinet. He, he, he doesn't even do anything with it. He opens the cabinet and is just like, Ah, yes, I opened the cabinet. And then he walks away from it. I'm like, really, dude? Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. Wow. I want to be a giant kaiju da Vinci. That sounds great. Okay, so what do we got in here? Ah, yes. History? Anyone? There's a globe. Anyone at all? This is what my, uh, other- my second major was in. Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll just have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de, Flo de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Let's see, was that so hard? Yeah, sometimes it is for people. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. Yeah, I mean, everyone's different. It is a spectrum like a lot of things these days. People have different reactions to it and everything. But yeah, I mean, getting called on in class was always something I had a hard time with too, because I just... 
I would freeze up and my mind would go blank when called on, like... It was so frustrating because I would always know the answers to things, but when the teacher called on me, my brain just stopped working. And then... I would sit there and they'd be like, oh, I guess you don't know the answer, you should study more. And I'm like, oh, I do know the answer. I just, when I'm just called on randomly and everyone's staring at me and you're staring at me, then it's hard for me to just pull the answer out of my mind. That's why I always wrote uh, fantastic papers, my teachers said. And I did get better about speaking up in class, but it was on my own terms. I was still never good about getting called on. If I had time to prepare things, yeah, I could I could make some fantastic points, but I had to have time to prepare it. That's a wrap. You better chumps better be armed better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe these court lines are rectangles in his head. Oh god, yeah, you're right. Whoa, this isn't how a basketball <laughs> This isn't how a basketball field <laughs> is at all. Or court rather. Oh my god. Requires four bars of memory links to proceed. Oh, I, there is something I need to get in here. Aha! Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! Okay, doing sit ups or push ups together. Alright, they're all running off of here. Oh my god, they disappeared. They're ghosts. Well, they kind of are. A little. If you think about it. Hello. The backpack is probably it. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. Says you. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. God, you're an idiot. Kids are such shit in high school. <laughs> God, I do not miss high school. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up, oh my god. Anyway, she's just so... off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. God, Nicholas, you really are a shit. But really, you wanna be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos with the go and with the emos and goths? For one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. Exactly! Why would you not want to be different than everyone else? Being different is one of the best possible things! And how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. I mean, in... And in, in that, Nicholas is striking home and striking true a little bit more, because as we've seen in the future, Johnny doesn't even try to change much. He kind of just tries to cope with it, instead of learning more about River and learning to work with her. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the way- the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. Yeah. That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. It's just what grandmas tell you. Okay, Nicholas was kind of talking since there for a little bit. For like the first time. Wait, so this guy's some kind of a human-hogging hipster? That's sort of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. This is true. But hey, welcome to the club! Wait, so this is what he told her about... So this is what he told her about at the cliff. Thanks for the flashback. Yeah. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? 
Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. Yeah. He confessed that... He wasn't actually going after her for her, which is unfortunate. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. And go get a hatch, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Yeah, it is pretty messed up. Johnny, and then as we've seen, you're like, yes, I want to be with her because she has this, and then later on, you just, you don't even try. Poor River. Uses an intense aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Can I inspect what you're- what you're having for lunch? What's my last, uh, memento here? Stuffed toy platypus. Just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. Must have left the biggest scar on his mind as it did on mine. Nicholas doesn't even know what a platypus is. Alrighty. Well, let's go. Get out of here. Boom. Should I even... No need. I'm all good now. What are you gonna do? Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Ha, me! Hey. Not cool, Eva. You never fucking block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? God, Watt is such a dork. Such a dork. Alright. Oh, wow. A lot of these are... Okay, um... Well, I initially see... This... And then... Hmm... I could do... This... And then this... And then, yeah, we can do our, uh... Our thing again. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. <clears throat> and yeah, here's the backpack and it was still new. Instead of all patched up and everything. Alright, I think we can maybe do like one more area for lack of a better term. Alright, here we are. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Heck, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? Wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E and A. Joey, Jewy, Julie, sounds cute. Sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh yes, yeah, so jealous. <laughs> Alrighty, what we got in here? That is a very weird looking bed. Uh, bookcase? Various books with smudge titles. Okay, well that was one link at least. Ma'am, oh wait, the olives. Oh, bleh, not again. Lots of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's suddenly blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Uh-huh, anything? No. Clock? The clocks are still- yeah, the clocks are back, back to ticking. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh, and then like the soccer balls, the memento? Yeah. Okay. And now... What's my last thing that I didn't get? Over here? Yep, sit on the couch. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> A Lego! Hit me with it. Bang, bang! Prepare! Alrighty, let's go. So, we got ourselves a soccer ball. 
Uh, huh. six is the ideal. I don't know how I'm gonna pull six off. Um, you know, let's just try something stupid, just because I have an idea. Boom. So, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, maybe. Yes. Yes, it will, actually. Haha. -ha. I didn't get it in six, but it's done, so... Boom. Easy peasy. And we're out of here. Activate. Why the dot dot dot? Do you always do the dot dot dot? And I'm just misremembering. I feel like you didn't always do the dot dot dot. Uh, welcome to white space? What is this? Heck, smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? Something is very wrong in young Johnny's psyche. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling them about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Uh-huh. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first! What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Isn't it nice when the dorky characters that are obviously putting on a front kind of pull back the, the mask a little bit? And you get to see the real them. They drop the facade for a minute. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. There we go. I think that's a fantastic spot to go ahead and end off. Um, assuming I can get the opportunity to save pretty quickly here. Alright, we're out. Right? Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Alrighty, here we are. So we're back to, to this Johnny. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. And that'll have to be enough. Hi, all that's left to do is link in your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and... That's enough. 
Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. You truly believe that. Why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Oof. Oh, even if it is a copy, don't just leave him sitting there to think about that. Alrighty. Ah, all our nights work. Mm-hmm, so now we have all the memories we collected throughout the night. Look at them all in their beauty. Quite a lot of them. Really puts into perspective just how many of these things we've been through now. What? It, wait, what? Why are you a floating head? What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being a head. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to be taking care of that next time. I think we made some pretty good progress today, and look, we're even floating heads on the screen here, so... Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed this episode of To the Moon, and I'll see you next time for some more.